all right guys good morning so I hope y'all have a, a good cup of coffee and I apologize because my lighting um, is not the best it's 549 in the morning last night it was so hot that my camcorder uh, shut off on me so um, right now my temp is 80 degrees and um, I've had the garage open for over an hour so we're ready to roll so I hope I get this right it's early um, so my brains ready to roll so this is the world's finest trimmer this is my uh, number one most preferred trimmer out of all the trimmers This uh, is the world's finest trimmer by Little Crow Gunworks. Great company, by the way. Some of the most humble people you'd ever want to meet. On each side, you have a, a set screw. Okay. And just so you know, once you get this set set up, like for my 223 Remington, I never have to adjust it. And um, it, it stays, so you don't have to worry about it off adjusting. It's two pieces. This is the, uh, we'll call this the head. This is the cutter. And I'm, when you hear me referring to the face of the cutter, that's the face. When we put this in, you'll see that you can, like, run it all the way up. Well, then just back it out a little bit, okay? Now, I just want to tell all the viewers something. I'm really not a professional or not even good at, do, at setting this up because it's, this is like a scope on a rifle. You know, once I have a scope mounted on a rifle, I don't ever have to take it off. So the next time I put a scope on a rifle, I'm just kind of kind of slow about it. But I can show you how to get this set up. I do have a method. It makes sense, and it will help you to get it dialed in really quick, okay? The nice thing, okay, we have two goals. One, to cut consistently, and two, we um, want it to cut square. This automatically cuts square. So we don't have to worry about that, okay? As far as consistency, consistent, now we are dealing with a different creature. What do I mean? In the last few videos, I've said we can either trim by length of the case from the head to the mouth, or we can trim from the datum line of the shoulder to the mouth. Well, um, here's going to be an issue. If you're working with range cases, um, you're going to have different cases that have been fired through different rifles, different chamber pressures, different head stamps, different lots, different case thicknesses. So your shoulders are going to be all over the board. So you're going to see, say, three to five thousandths difference. Just so the viewers know, out of my AR-15 out to 100 yards, uh, I'm having a great time. No, no complaint on um, the accuracy and consistency, okay. So range cases, it can be a challenge. But one thing about this world's finest trimmer is it will actually, if we use it right, it tells us how good of a job we're sizing. So now, now what I have is the best it can be all the same head stamp, all through the same rifle, all the same amount of times fired. So if if I get this set up and I start seeing that it's deviating a little bit, this is telling me go back and resize it and then retrim it and usually it just comes right in within a, a thousandth. Literally, if, if you do this right. If you hear people say You'll see this. Oh, the world's finest trimmer is not um, an accurate trimmer. Well, guess what? You're not reloading accurate. Think about it. If your die is sizing this based off the datum line in the mouth, and this is trimming off the datum line in the mouth, and everything is solid on this, if something's off, it's not the trimmer. The trimmer is actually doing you a favor and saying, hey, bub, that's not going to chamber in your rifle. 
I'll show you one. This is an interesting one. Um, I think this is the case. Let me. It's it's so early. Okay, you see this case is is uh, sized. Well, <laughs> I was out here late last night. It won't fit. That case won't fit. That picked it up. That's telling me go back and resize that case. You see, it's pretty handy. So this actually uh, also gives you a little bit of insurance. Really does. So I've come to like this. So we're going to go ahead and um, chuck this bad boy up. And you know, I leave a little bit of a gap. You can experiment at first. Now the first thing I do is I always clock it to where my um, my set screw is up. All right. And this is how. I loosen and tighten it. I, whether I'm tightening or loosening, I go to there, and then I just turn the drill just like that, and I loosen it, loosen it, and I set it down. I do it the same every time, because we are going to sneak down like several thousandths at a time. So now, unlike a, a, a trimming lathe, that has a micrometer adjustment. We don't have a micrometer adjustment, but what we do have is numbers don't lie, and we can actually gauge it back. Okay? So this is how this works. This is what you don't want to do. You don't want to put the case into there like that, run it back, and then let it go. You see this tool head? If that tool head gets bumped too far back, you're going to shave like 10 or 20 thousandths off. It's going, to, it's going to depress you because I don't like to waste grass. Okay, so this is what you want to do. In your mind, that's one piece. In other words, you're not doing this. You're not putting this on um, like this. It's early. You're not putting that on and then putting this on and then tightening it down. Everything just wiggled out of spec here. What's going to happen when we put this on correctly? This tool is going to relieve back or rest back two to three thousandths if we do it right, and that's the cut we want. So, this is how I do it. Imagine it's one piece. Remember, we go by feel. Feel. We're going to feel this case come in contact with the face. Well, I'm sorry, we're going to feel the case come into contact with the case of the trimmer. So we're just going to go like this. Now, this is probably the most important part when you let go. Let go softly. Okay, snug it up. Now, at the torque that you just saw me do those set screws, I'm good for 4,000 cases. If it'll do 4,000 cases, it'll do 8,000 cases. So, now, once again, let's take our measurement. Measure twice, cut once. Zero your calipers. I'm at 0 0.246. I have to go back 11 thousandths. Now, there's something that I want you to do. This is probably the most important thing. Don't try and adjust this back in large increments. Sneak it back as little as you can. Each time you get set this up, set it up in a way that you're literally, I mean, sometimes you'll set it up and you'll only cut a thousandths off. That's ideal if you could do it that way every time. So there, I backed the tool off, pushed the case into it, and now
kind of get a feel too uh, when it trims. I have two thousandths to go. Now I want to say something. Take what you want, leave what you don't. We have two thousandths left. If something happens, I trim this and it's like 2.036 or 2.034 you know our book is telling us to trim back to 2.035 but Sammy will allow us to trim back further than that so 2.034 or 2.036 that's okay um, 2.033 so Let's say you come into 2.034. You could trim them all that way. That's fine. You want consistency in your length. Now, if you're like, I want 2.035, then you just keep working with this. Maybe overshoot this case, but you get another one and you pull it back, okay? So we're going to go ahead and loosen this. And as you notice, I do it the same every time. Two point zero three four and a half. <laughs> I'm there. That's what I wanted. Okay. What are your two goals? One, to get it set for a particular length. We're there. The second goal is how square are you? Now, don't let um, there. Let's look. Let's look at this for a moment. There you go. Um, once again, on range cases, don't let a deviation and error um, mess you up. Okay. Another thing, if you're new to this, don't get frustrated. I had a bit of a learning curve. I had to develop a, a means of how I approach setting this up. And this is how I do it. Someone else might have another way of doing it. So basically you're going to trim till there's, um, you know, no more resistance and uh, oh my goodness. It's awesome. It's just there. that case will not trim the shoulder is is wonky on it okay so I had that one from last night I'm gonna try something I don't know if it will work but let's just see um, I'm gonna size this case when this happens that's telling you go back and resize okay so I apologize. Um, I'm going to tilt my camcorder back. <laughs> I didn't plan on doing this this morning. 
don't forget to loop your case, by the way. A lathe trimmer wouldn't have picked up on that. Do you see it? So this one here, um, I don't know which one. I'm not going to go that route. It's too early. Um, so. Hang on. Don't forget to loop the case. Okay. Now class, now class begins. You just saw me trim that case to 2.033. So I resized it, and now it's 2.034 and a half. What happened? You just saw something that most reloaders will not pick up on. What happened? All these cases are the same head stamp shot through the same rifle the same amount of times but the way my video series roll out it's been almost a week since these have been resized so some of these are springing back to how they were so if you had a lathe trimmer you could trim all these but what you wouldn't know is some of them kind of went back. Ah, oh, ooh, that's huge. This will tell you. You, you, just, you just saw it. And if you want to experience this, size a bunch of cases that are all the same head stamp, same rifle, same amount of time, put them on your bench for a week, and start trimming each one and measure it and the ones that are kind of off resize it don't forget to loop and then wipe the lube off and retrim it and they'll come right in see guys that say this is inconsistent they haven't learned that brass wants to return and that's the reason why I don't I'm not going to load 50 million rounds of these up and let them sit for five years. If you load these up and you let them sit for five years, you're going to have different neck tension and you're not going to have that precision you did before. People say, well, I thought ammo lasted a long time. It does, but they start out with a new case. These are fired. So your cases change on you. Don't be a reloader so you can loan, load 10 billion rounds to go stuff in a hole somewhere. Be a reloader so through attrition you replace what you shoot and it gets shot on a regular basis and doesn't sit 10 million years. Is it going to fire in 10 years? Probably. Is it going to have the precision you thought? I wouldn't bank on it. And we just saw it. That's real, what you saw. This is the, the foundation of reloading 
is prepping your brass and understanding how it behaves. So, it's proof that the world's finest trimmer now can be used alongside your case gauge to tell you this is this has got your back your case isn't going to chamber go back resize it come trim it and then measure it's gold that's why i love the world's finest trimmer there you go okay so it is uh almost time for me to go to work i suppose that i better go and put a nice looking shirt on and get my hands all washed and but make sure you have a good cup of coffee guys and gals that's the end of this video god bless we'll see you on the next